let's say you see a game, you see a movie, you hear a song, boom, your your life changes forever because you just took in a piece of media. The strongest aspect of media is how it articulates what our likes and our dislikes are. Uh, presenting someone with a compelling narrative or memorable characters will often show signs of what we find relatable or people or lives who we want to become or want to hate. It also inadvertently makes you present your username as Chozo Starbits or Matt the Chozo. Now the name, that's like the easiest thing to identify. You know, Matt is a name that's like already set in stone. But uh, the Chozo, unless you know anything about the Metroid series and how the Chozo is a recurring species of bird alien type elders that follow the main protagonist in her space journeys in the context of that game, that's putting a lot of faith in the viewer to really get that because otherwise this nickname will go pfft, completely over your head. What about the videos he makes if he calls himself the Chozo? Is he like a Metroid related kind of channel or? That's not a Chozo. That's a Metroid. This guy doesn't know anything about the franchise that's in his fucking username. What a fucking hypocrite. <laughs> Uh, I love you, man. You're pretty cool. Yeah, even I'll say that I'm guilty for falling for this trap. Uh, fans are what make media so amiable, so widespread. Uh, they instill a good provocative message about the thing that they liked in an effort to spread it out even further. Uh, however, the nuance comes from when the media makes them become the media that they adore so much. They start to represent characters based on it, you know, have icons or wallpapers. They start to hide their identities and stick with people who only have similar likes and consider them to be the only reasonable people in their world. And the second you go the slightest bit outside that zone, trying to get a bit personal or a bit nuanced, you're immediately called out for being fake. A fake fan. Dude, I hate to break it to you, but that term never exists. These arguments about a fan not knowing enough or not being able to get it because they're not in the proverbial audience of whatever you like, it's completely irrelevant because at some point you have to learn that you are not the media you consume. You see, I play video games. I know some people consider them to be a waste of time, but I see them as an affordable and valuable waste of time. I quite enjoy experiencing them. They've taught me a lot of things that I've come to know about myself, but I don't want to say I'm all about video games, or for that matter, all about Metroid. I like Metroid. It's been one of the more memorable games from my youth, but to extend that further to be who I am, to represent that, uh, where I go online every day going about as the Chozo, maybe even defending Metroid against people who I think don't know any better, in the grand scheme of things, that doesn't seem like a healthy purpose. Do you want to know why nerds are considered nerds? It's because there's an imaginary nerd culture within their group that only nerds will truly understand and the outside world will just never understand these delicate creatures. When really, come up to a guy who has a really interesting like and then say, hey, what's up, how's life? And then the border or the nerdy culture that you thought was there is realistically not there. This is because media is meant to formulate what we like and dislike. It's supposed to make you think like a different person than who you originally were before you consumed it, not become the embodiment of what we're supposed to like or dislike within people, or even ourselves. You know, sometimes we're upset that something we find inspiring or compelling is not looked upon the same way through other people's eyes, and it encourages us to defend it, to like justify it, to call out people who we think don't know any better than our own world can really envision, and that's not really necessary in the long run of things. This is because media is not absolute, it's always changing, perceptions of media is always changing. Trying to defend or represent something so fleeting and indifferent can only really go so far, I feel. 
please, please do not consider this an attack towards people who are fans of something. If you adore something and you find it to be inspiring to your life, please keep following it. Consider this idea as a nuance that should be taken into account. Games are my hobby. But is it what entirely makes my identity? Is my persona related to games? Is it because I consume media that I don't want it to fully become me? I feel when you don't consider media to be territorial and not entitle yourself to it, then you have a better idea of how you're able to see different things and in general yourself. If you're able to ask yourself these questions, you know it's tough, but at some point you gotta find a good distinction between where you stand and where the thing you like stands. That's my elongated explanation as to why I'm calling myself Matt Cross. I, I know it's kind of weird, but it'll roll off the tongue soon. Um, new videos are coming up. The David Fern, the Q&As are gonna come up soon, so don't you worry. See you then. Yeah.